Rape culture and precarious employment have lunch at a steakhouse and discuss my dismissal or another employer tells me I need to learn to just say no. How can I have too much on my plate when I worked through my lunch break, when I skipped dinner on the way to my second, third, fourth job, if you paid me a livable wage, I could do the surviving part of being a survivor, the part where I feed myself and pay rent. Maybe then I could buy a lifetime supply of bath bombs to meet the workplace standards for self-care and use the rest to flood my abuser's apartment in glittering red. I have said no to work before and ended up saying yes to keep myself alive. I have said no to sex before and ended up saying yes to keep myself alive. I say no to the party because some abusers like to dance and miss my favorite song. I say no to the protest because some abusers safety marshal the movement and miss out on being a panelist. I say no to the poetry slam because some, some abusers slam master the venue or make final stage or come to every show and miss out on making the team or the title or the tour. I say no to the subway because some abusers don't drive and I'm late for my shift again. I say no and still get stuck with the bill for spike key rings, litmus nail polish, bad date escape taxis, three years of therapy. I confronted each of my abusers and the only thing they offered were their condolences. Rape crisis counseling is not covered under workplace insurance unless it happened at work. Almost like classism TM and rape culture TM are part of the same conglomerate getting tax breaks from the government. I make 75 cents to my abuser's dollar and can't afford to take them to court. Capitalism profiting off of rape culture, profiting off of my calloused flesh. Sexual violence, history's most lucrative business. Patriarchy, the ultimate pyramid scheme. I want to crush its every ancient brick but it employs me to support survivors, to educate on consent, to research trauma, to host a writing workshop on survival at an all femme poetry slam. How can I say no when quitting my job means closing the crisis line? How can I say no when rape culture doesn't take a day off? So I will plan my attack at night. I call upon all the good men in their best suits and times up pins to meet me at the chain linked fence wrapped around a world without rape. Bring your platinum credit cards, a pair of pliers and sharp teeth with consent education and justice. And if all else fails, a blowdozer and a blowtorch. Fire me and watch all I built for you burn. But when you beg for me back, I'll say no.